I don't know, it's just, it's just not for me. I don't know, I just don't think this is like right for me. Hi guys! Today I'm going to be reviewing the Clemence wallet. I got mine in the fuchsia color. I've had this wallet for about six, no, seven months now. But what I really like about this wallet is how thin it is. I don't know if you can see, but let me just tell you the measurements. So for the Clemence wallet, it is um, 20 cm by 9 cm by 2 cm. Okay. So it's really thin. So I'm gonna show you how it looks like on the inside. Um, okay, so on each side, you have four card slots. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then behind, and then behind that, you also have another compartment over here. So you can put whatever you want. You can put more cards over there. Now the opposite is the same. Four card slots with another compartment at the back. So it, it, it can actually hold quite a lot of items. So on the inside, you can see there's a monogram print on both sides. So, okay. So this is where you can put your coins. I'll show you. This is where I put my coins. Um, but I don't usually put too many or else it starts to it starts to feel a bit bulky. I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max and I'm gonna try to fit this into the wallet because I've seen some people doing it and I'm not, there's no cover or whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna put, try to put this in. Oh, okay. I'm gonna try to just zip it up. It worked! But in order to do this, you can't use the phone cover or else it will definitely not go in. So I've shown you everything that's in the wallet. Now I'm gonna tell you more about the wear and tear. So I've had this wallet for about 7 months now. And let me just tell you that I was shook. Shook when I saw something. I don't know if you can see but this side over here is actually starting to peel. Like, hello? And the other side, the other side's fine. And then at the side over here, we have some peeling. Over here. Also some peeling. On this side. Turn it around. It's a little bit like rusty on that. You can see this one is also starting. Maybe I'm being a bit too picky about this, but whenever I use this, I'll always make sure to put it nicely and you know gently into my bags. So if I was handling it roughly, then okay, yeah, I understand. But no, I've been. I've been taking good care of this. I've only had this for 7 months. I feel like none of this should be happening this quickly. Uh, yeah. Now I'm going to be talking about the pros for this wallet. It can hold quite a lot. Another thing that I like about this wallet is how light it is. Now I'm going to be talking about the cons. I'm going to show you what happens when you try to pull a card out from this slot. The slot on top so it tends to glide across the zipper I'm gonna show you so I'm gonna try to pull it out and you can see that it actually hits the bottom part of the zipper and there's always that that motion I feel like in the long run it would definitely damage the zipper if you're not too careful about it so you have to be very gentle and you have to know how to pull it out. You also have to be careful with the pull tab because if you put it like this, there's going to be a bump as you can see over here. So you have to actually put it like this. 
straight. Sadly, I kind of regret buying this. I realized that I should have gotten a smaller wallet instead because I'm petite. So I tend to lean towards smaller bags. I mean, this wallet can fit into most of my bags, but I feel like I should have gotten a smaller wallet instead so that I can have more space in my bags. But if you're someone who likes to carry big bags, like tote bags per se, then this this size is perfect for you. I, I don't know, it's just, it's just not for me. I don't know, I just don't think this is like right for me. I hope that this has been helpful for those who are considering to get this wallet. Thank you for watching, I'll see you soon. Bye!